welcome to my 15 minute home yoga practice, a series of videos designed for beginners and those looking to start a regular practice at home. My name's Simone and I'm the mobile yogi and I specialize in private yoga lessons around Sydney. Now through my own journey, I've found that as little as 15 minutes yoga each and every day can be more beneficial than say rolling out the yoga mat once a week. I realize we can be so time poor these days, but just by squeezing in a little bit of yoga each and every day will make a real difference. And if you can attend classes at a yoga studio on top of this, well even better. So on that note, let's begin. Start by coming to sit at the back of your mat, just gently on your heels. Now this first practice is a nice gentle practice, ideal for first thing in the morning just to really warm up the body. And in yoga we always breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. So let's begin. Start by inhaling and lifting the chin up towards the sky and exhale back to centre. Inhale chin to chest and exhale back to centre. Inhale, right ear to right shoulder, getting a nice stretch along the back of the neck and side of the neck here. And back to centre. And then over to the other side. And back to centre. And time to warm up the arms now as well. So raising the arms out in front, palms facing up towards the sky. And making fists with the hands and just rolling those wrists, warming up through the arms. Nice, gentle, slow, steady circles and then going back the other direction as well. Now this is a great one for RSI or anyone who spends a lot of time working on a computer or sitting at a desk. And then from here we're now going to extend the hands away just pressing the palms away from the body but at the same time squeezing those shoulders down and back behind you. Nice strong energy coming through the hands as we inhale raising them up towards the sky now pressing the palms away and dropping the shoulders away from the ears. Now if it's okay for your neck, just looking up towards the hands. And then on your next exhale, gently lowering the hands down and just releasing that grip and just giving the shoulders a bit of a roll, a bit of a shrug, down and away. And then the other way as well, just slowly and gently warming up the body. Now we're not trying to do anything too vigorous just yet. And then from here, we're just going to open the knees as wide as the mat. And then gently on your exhalation, walking the hands and folding forward, coming into our downward facing warrior pose. Now from here you really want to spread the fingers nice and wide and have the hands almost as wide as the mat so the little fingers are just brushing the edges of the mat. Pressing firmly down into the hands as you press the sit bones back towards the heels, really creating space along the back there so much pressure that you're almost wanting to tear that mat in two. And taking one more lovely deep breath here as we inhale and exhale and gently start to turn the head from side to side working with your breath. So from here inhaling raising the head up off the mat looking between the hands and then coming up onto all four position. So from this all four position, we're going to work through Bidalasana or cat cow position, which really warms up through the spine. So to begin, oh, hello there, darling. <laughs> that was downward dog, the original. <laughs> so moving on from downward dog, we're going to go to cat cow. So inhale, looking up towards the sky, dropping the tummy towards the mat, squeezing those shoulder blades together and exhale chin to chest arching up towards the sky with the back inhale looking forward squeezing those shoulder blades and exhale arching up inhale now this is called cow position for obvious reasons <laughs> and cat and just nice steady fluid floating movements working the breath in time with the movements and then on your next exhalation, just coming to stillness onto the all fours position. And now we're going to really work on the body a little bit more by starting to draw the tummy in towards the spine. So just take a moment to draw that navel in, finding your balance and just looking between the hands, extending the left arm, right leg out. And just really flexing those toes back towards the body, 
nice straight arm, nice line of energy running all the way from the fingertips to the feet. And taking a couple breaths here. And then exhaling, lowering down and swapping to the other side. And then floating the hand and foot back down. And now putting those two moves together. So extending the left arm, right leg out and inhale, looking forward. Exhale, drawing everything in. Inhale, extend. And exhale, drawing in. Inhale, extend. And exhale, drawing in. One more. Inhale, extend. And exhale, floating in. And then lowering the foot down and swapping to the other side. From here we're going to come into Adha Mukha Savasana or Downward Facing Dog. So just making sure that the hands are nice and wide as the mat still, fingers are spread, it's going to tuck the toes underneath and then gently raising the knees up off the mat, hips coming up towards the sky and drawing those heels down and away behind. And then we're gently going to bend into the right knee and then the left, kind of like we're taking our dog for a bit of a walk, warming up the back of the calf muscles there warming into the legs just nice and gently with this practice today and then after a couple of breaths here walking on the spot just coming to stillness drawing those heels down towards the mat lifting the hips up towards the sky pressing the palms down into the mat and now if at any point you need to rest just come back down into a simple child's pose Otherwise, taking one more breath here as we inhale and exhale. Inhale, raising the right leg up towards the sky now. And exhale, drawing that knee forward and coming and planting it behind the right wrist, untucking the back toe there and coming and lifting up into the fingertips, coming into Ekapada Raja Kapatasana, hard one to say, <laughs> otherwise known as pigeon pose. So on the fingertips and lifting up nice and tall, and puffing up the chest, pretty much like a pigeon, hence the name. And then gently exhaling and walking the hands forward. And either bringing the forehead all the way down onto the mat, or you can use the hands and make a little cushion for the forehead here. The important thing here is just to make sure that the hips are level, that you're not wobbling from one side to another. And then just soften and deepen into this pose, trying not to hold on. Inhale, raising the head up off the mat and gently walking the fingers back beside that front knee. Then just squeezing those shoulder blades down and back, getting a little mini back bend here. And then planting the hands down and returning back to downward facing dog. Just pausing here for a couple of breaths. Really drawing those heels down and away. Pressing the palms down, drawing the armpits in towards each other in that nice external rotation and then time for the other side extending the left leg up and away now flexing the feet back towards the face and then drawing that knee forward behind that front left wrist then untucking the back toes making sure that back legs nice and straight still lifting up onto the fingertips rolling those shoulders down and away and of course we're in the half variation here, but if you want to take the full variation, you can draw the knee out a little bit wider too. Otherwise, inhale, lift and lengthen through the chest and exhale, folding forward. And then inhaling, raising the head up off the mat, walking those fingertips back beside the body again, lifting and opening through the chest. And then we're going to tuck those back toes and returning back to downward facing dog. And just going to take one breath here as you inhale, lifting the hips up nice and high. And exhale, sinking the heels down towards the mat. And then inhale, looking between the hands, bending into the knees and taking little baby steps forward towards the top of the mat. And just taking a moment to hang here, letting the head and neck go. And then just gently swaying from side to side, loosening into those hips. Just letting go, trying not to hold on to the neck or anything. Just nice and loose. Have a bit of fun with it. 
you know, yoga is not meant to be taken too seriously. Just practicing with wherever you're at, working with your own body and how you're feeling today. And then coming to stillness and then gently bend into the knees and we're rolling up nice and slowly. One vertebrae at a time. Head and neck coming up last and just giving them a bit of a roll down and away. And then from here coming to stand in the center of your mat in Tadasana or mountain pose. So now we're going to incorporate some movement working with our breath once again. So inhaling here, raising the arms up, palms lightly touch and then pausing here. Now we're going to come over to the right side, stretching along the side of the body and then back to center and over to the left. And then just gently going from side to side, working with our breath. Just feeling that lovely lateral stretch all the way along the side of the body. And then over to the right side here, we're just gonna pause here for a couple of breaths. Really pressing down into that left foot and feeling that stretch accentuated, running all the way from the foot up the body along the arms. And then if it's okay here for your neck, just turning your head up towards the sky. And don't forget to breathe here in this one. It's very easy to hold your breath on this pose. And then back to centre. And you guessed it, over to the other side. And turning the head up to look up towards the sky. And then back to centre. And gently floating the arms back beside the body. Now we're going to work through tree pose, which is pretty relevant considering where we are. So from here, we're just going to take a moment just to get our balance because this is a balancing posture and it really is very helpful if you find something to stare at. This is called a drishti or a focus point. It just helps with our balancing postures. So from here, we're going to bend into the right foot and then just drawing the foot up either to the thigh or to the shin, wherever you can today. Of course, if that's too much as well, you can have the foot just below the ankle. Wherever is comfortable for you, just pressing the foot in towards the opposite leg and then bringing the hands to the heart centre here, palms lightly pressing together. And then from here, if you'd like to go one step further, you can raise the hands above the head, squeezing those shoulders down and back, opening through the hips and just really focusing here in tree pose. And then to release, gently open the arms, extending that foot out in front, lifting it up, pausing here, and exhaling, floating everything down. And time to come onto the other side. So bending into the left foot now, and then just bringing this foot to wherever you did on the other side. Just working where you're at today. Oops, and trying not to wobble around too much. From here, bringing the hands to the heart center, palms lightly touching. I'm a bit of a wobbly tree on this side and then raising the hands up above the head. Of course, you probably will notice a difference. You might be stronger on one side than the other. That just means you probably need to hold the weaker side a little bit longer just to build up the strength to balance things out. And then from here, releasing down, turning the foot to center, extending it out, and then floating everything back down. Now just returning back to the top of our mats, and coming to stand in mountain pose, big toes touching, rolling those shoulders down and away. And from here, inhaling nice, big, deep breath. And exhale, swan diving down, coming all the way, fingertips resting on the mat. From here, inhale, bend the knees, flat back, look forward. And exhale, extending the knees and just drawing the hands behind the calves, drawing the chest towards the thighs a little bit more a nice deep stretch along the back of the legs there and inhale plant the hands down and exhale right foot big step back coming into our lunge and from here just making sure that the knee is stacked over the ankle inhale lift and lengthen through the chest nice strong back leg and exhale stepping the left foot back coming back into downward facing dog and then from downward facing dog, we're bringing our weight forward into a plank position. And then exhale, dropping the knees, followed by the chin and swooping forward into our cobra position, Bhujangasana. So from here, just lifting the palms up off the mat, squeezing the shoulder blades together, pressing the tops of the feet into the ground. Then from here, gently lowering the palms back down onto the mat 
and then coming and bringing their sit bones back to the heels, tucking the toes, coming back up into downward facing dog. Then from here we're stepping the right foot forward, coming into the lunge on the other side, lifting and lengthening through the chest, and then exhale, stepping the back foot forward and hanging here. Then gently bending into the knees, inhaling, raising the arms up above the head, lightly touching. One more round. Inhale, flat back, look forward, and exhale, stepping the left foot back this time into the lunge. Then from here, stepping the right foot back into downward facing dog, then coming forward into plank, dropping the knees, swooping forward through to cobra. Now we're just going to walk the hands out in front. This time the elbows are under the shoulders, coming up into what we call the sphinx pose. And reclining into child's pose. Inhale, raising the head up off the mat and then gently walking the hands back beside the body. And just coming now to a comfortable cross-legged position on your mat. Now we're just going to conclude our practice with a lovely breathing exercise just to help focus the mind. So gently take a moment to press the sit bones down into your mat, lift up nice and tall through the crown of the head and just roll those shoulders down and away. And then from here, gently closing the eyes. Now we're just going to work with our breath as we count down, beginning from 10 as we inhale and then exhale 9. Inhale 8 and exhale 7. Inhale 6 and exhale 5. And continue on now counting in your own mind with your own breath. And when you get down to zero, maybe counting back up to 10 again. I encourage you to spend as much time as you can doing this exercise just to quiet the mind and quiet the body to finish off our practice. to conclude our practice just bringing our hands together at our heart center palms lightly touching thumbs resting against the sternum take a lovely deep inhalation here and exhale namaste these 15 minute home yoga practice videos are yours to follow free online. It's my gift to you as I continue to share my love and enthusiasm for yoga with everyone everywhere. And of course for more information please head to my website or follow me on Instagram and on Facebook, The Mobile Yogi.